Good morning, folks. This is Lindsey Huddleston with SBS here for a Monday Motivation. Uh, I know it's not the regular 7 a.m. time. I have a scheduling matter I have to address. So I had to come at you guys right now. Special uh, shout out and apologies to Michelle Mimi Watkins. I know you set your clock by the 7 a.m. Monday Motivation, but we had to get out here and get, get, get it. Uh, I know you guys understand and will be supportive. And what is today's topic? Simply put, let your light shine. That's right. Let your light shine. Let it shine like a lighthouse on a hill. What happens so many times is that many of us, and I've heard the conversations, I've had the conversations, hell, even experiencing myself, uh, you find yourself in a situation, and I'll take part of this quote from Marion Williamson, Williamson. You playing small doesn't serve the world. There's nothing enlightening about shrinking so others won't feel insecure around you. I'll read that again. You playing small doesn't serve the world. There's nothing enlightening about shrinking so others won't feel insecure around you. That has been a time-tested strategy that many people take. They will shrink. They will uh, try to be smaller than who they really are in order to fit into where they are. And eventually that leads to conflict external conflict between you and the people you're trying to shrink for, or even an internal conflict for yourself, because you are not being who you truly were made to be. And it's difficult because we find ourselves in situations, whether it's on a team, uh, you know, at work, or even in a relationship where you're trying to fit in. And we were not made to fit in, folks. We were made to stand out and be accepted for who we are amongst who we are. And it may take a while for you to get there. Make it take a little heartache to get to that point. But why should you not be who God made you to be? And in many cases, uh, we try to make this work. We try to figure it out. But conflicts comes along the way. Why? Because your true self comes out. And, or what the other person is about comes out. And then there's that conflict. It may be subtle. It may be overt. But what I want you to do is live with a freedom of mind that even if you have to struggle a little bit to get to the place where you're supposed to be, let your light shine. Let your light shine, not just for yourself, but let your light shine for others. When you're in a position where your light is shining for others and you're in the best space you need to be in, then great things will happen not only for you, but for the people around you. Too many times we try to put a square peg in a, a round peg and it doesn't work. You push it, you think it'll fit, but that's not going to be it. But why do we do it, folks? Out of a matter of convenience, trying to be convenient. But what may be convenient for now will only lead to inconvenience in the near future. We think about now and how it can work and how we can change and form and try to fit. But the reality is that we have other parts of us that need to come out and need to grow. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. I don't know who I'm sending this message to other than myself. But my point is, you got to go and be where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be who you're supposed to be. You're supposed to let your light shine. If other people have a problem with your light. That's their problem. They better get to some sun blocker. They better get something. Now, the sad part is, in some cases, people take a horrible approach to you having your light shine. They try to demonize you, possibly. They try to talk bad about you. They try to, you know, say bad things and say that you're not what you really are. And very rarely, but at times, it works, and you will find a place where you're going to be comforted by people. You're going to be brought in. I look at my young Jedi, Terry McCord Jr. He does such an excellent job on the SBS Ed Show. I could be one of those guys that try to stifle Terry. Every chance I get, I want to lift Terry up. I want to put him in a position that he can succeed. One, I'm not intimidated by Terry, nor should I have the reason to be. But even still, the attention he gives, heck, people come on the show, they will come looking for Terry. I don't have a problem with that because I'm content with who I am and where I want to go and where I want to be. And part of my goal was to see Terry be successful. That's just a small example. So I really encourage you guys to let your light shine. Get out there in the world, find a place. And it may take some heartache and pain because you have to uproot yourself. You have to be uncomfortable for a while to find that good space that you're supposed to be in while you're searching. I just don't want people to grow and have these Mondays be, you know, true to form. They say Mondays are the days when people have the most heart attacks. You know why? They go to a job they can't stand. They go put in a, they go, they have to get up and when Sunday comes, they get down because they know they have to go into a space where they're not going to be celebrated in a way that's appropriate. They have to go into a space where they have to change who they are just to fit in. And I get it. Making the money is important. You want to provide for yourself, provide for your family, provide for your needs. But at what cost? At what cost is it having all these things that when Sunday comes, Monday comes or during the week, you can't stand where you are and what you're doing? 
Look deep inside of who you are and where you want to be. And don't believe the thing that you're too old to make change. You're too old to do something different. The greatest feeling in the world, folks, is waking up and feeling great about what you're about to do. And that's part of letting your light shine, finding something that's going to bring that light out of you. I hope that for all of you. SBS has been a blessing to me over the five years I've been doing it. That's been one way I've been able to let my light shine, find a direction I want to go in and do great things. It's such a fulfilling feeling. And I wish all of you could have that feeling, whether it's the organization you start, the job that you go to, the relationship that you're in. It should be enough to fulfill you to overcome all these things. I won't talk to you guys long today. As I said, i got to keep it moving this morning, and I'll be back to you at the regular time next week at 7 a.m. Again, shout out to Michelle Mimi Watkins, Coach Marshall, you know, Coach uh, Wu Payne, all the people that stop in, uh, Patricia England, moms, everybody who stops in on the SBS Ed Show on a regular basis to support what's going on. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you supporting me. And again, let your light shine. Wish you all the best. And all the best is today. All the best this week, this month, this year, and going forward into the future. Take care.